Good morning ladies and gentlemen, Stripe Gamer here, providing you with new gaming content about Anno 1800 today. And today we're going to talk about the Research Institute, which was introduced late 2020 with the last DLC of Season 2, Land of Lions, as you can see here, which created the region Mbessa. It's often described as East Africa, Southern Africa, but interestingly enough, this new building we're going to talk about, the Research Institute, is actually not built in Mbesa. You can build it anywhere in the old world, in, either in your initial region or in the Cape. This Research Institute is quite an end game game changer with amazing functionalities like the power to move clay deposits and oil spring or to create any items that you want. It also introduced some new buildings, like the advanced coffee roaster that you build in the old world. Yes, you earn your right. You can now produce coffee and also rum directly in the old world instead of in the new world. So what are we going to cover in this video? Well, one, very quickly describe how you get the Research Institute. Two show you an overview of its functionalities. Three, I'll go in detail in some of the most interesting features that are sometimes hard to understand. Four, we'll talk about research points and how do you get them. Five, discuss why engineers are actually also needed for the research institute. And six, we'll also talk about the limits of the research institute and then stay tuned until the end of the video because at the end I will also share a few bonus facts that are, aren't well known at all by most players. Before we dive in, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you want to discover or master strategy, city building, simulation games, from Anno to Caesar 3, Caesar 4, Stronghold, the whole series, Total War games, that's exactly what I'll be covering in this channel, Stride Gamer. So please subscribe and you'll never miss a new video. And also, why not leave a comment below? Share what you hope to learn in this video, a question that you have about Anno or something else. And I promise I'll do my best to answer each and every one of you. The research institute comes from Mbesa. Mbesa is triggered when you reach only 100 artisans, so quite soon in any new game that you do. It creates a new storyline called the rise of Emperor Ketama. I won't give you detailed spoiler about this main storyline in this video. Please, if you're interested in one video on this topic, I'm happy to do it. Just drop a comment below on it. That storyline is fairly linear, and at some point, you'll be asked to build the Research Institute in the old world. You can only build one, so make sure you think a bit about where you want to build it. Me, I chose it to build it in the Cape. Not in my capital, but in the second island, you can see here. And here it is. This is the Research Institute when built. The building has three stages, nothing special required. For example, in the last stage, you need 120 concrete, 150 steel beams, and 120 windows. So for end game, very low requirements, I would say. And one important problem about the building to finish is it does require electricity, as you can see here. Second point, let's take a quick look at an overview of all the functionalities. First, to access it, well, you can click on the building, but let's say you're in even another region and you don't want to just go back to this island and still access it. You can also click on the research points here at the top and it will bring you to your research institute. Here's the overview. Four large elements. One is called pillow research, item development, major discoveries and donation to science. 
overall fairly safe self-explanatory field of research is to identify new items that you don't know about so as you can see here for example I've already identified all of the industrial experts but let's identify a few civil experts I click on it and we can choose either um, cultural technological and talent what does that mean well cultural is your artifacts your animals your plants technological is for your trade unions mostly right for machines and then lastly talents is more for your specialist that you could use in trade unions or town hall mostly you can see the investment cost is fairly low compared to other um, to the other elements we're gonna see later but it does increase every time you do it so here we did 300 for example but let's do it again now it is 350 uh, item developments well like the name says it's all the items that you've identified discovered you can see here for me you can select one and just develop it right now it is grayed out because I am currently developing one as you can see here I'm developing a gala the provider of electricity then major discovery is something critical that we'll talk about in a, in a bit more detail we, let's just see that it has three elements the revolutionary concept here mystery of nature mastery of nature sorry and then production methodology which are those three new buildings i mentioned the coffee the rum and the cotton production all to be done in the old world and then lastly donation to science there you can donate any of the item that you have in your session and that maybe you're not using let's say I'm not using this guy here I will donate it and as you see I'll gain 250 research points immediately why is that important because the research point then take point to recharge so if you don't want to wait you can donate now third point let's deep dive in some of these interesting element and in particular will deep dive on the major discoveries first is the campus extension permit to build scholar residence you can't just build like any other residence as many as you want you actually need those permits here you can see I have 57 in let's say stock um, to build them and you develop them five at a time second the great eastern permit arguably at least in my opinion the best transport ship ever eight slots that means transporting 400 units without any mods slightly higher speed in the cargo ship and the extravaganza and one more item slot than the cargo ship which means the same as the extravaganza before you could only get one from a quest now you can get as many as you want third the peer upgrades we all have many peers on our islands and what you may not know is that those peers actually have quite a slow delivery um, speed compared to your trading post fully optimized with this you will improve your peers so that they, dis they deliver quicker and you will also be able to focus each peer on a specific resource what that means for example you can decide that this peer will only get coffee because you know yeah, that you always want coffee in your island so you'll dedicate one peer or several to coffee research kit this is to take one of the items that you know and 
develop it immediately. Then master your major. Things for your end game that are quite amazing. Moving clay deposits, moving old springs. Potential to change one of the deposits. So for example, move from a coal mine that you may not need to a zinc or copper mine. And then lastly, change fertilities. For example, you're trying to produce champagne in the old world, but the, the island doesn't have that fertility. Well, you can change it. Or from if you've seen my video on the Arctic, I've actually used that quite a lot to make sure that I can produce coal in all islands. Why moving clay deposit and oil spring is important? Well, let's take a quick look at one of my islands going to the new world. Here, for example, I've used it quite recently. You see this island have two clay deposits, 12 oil field so as you can imagine they were basically all over the place um, I remember some of the oil fields were right in the middle here others were down here and the clay deposits were also pretty much in the middle of the map now where are they well the 12 oil deposits here all of them covered by just one oil refinery and the two clay deposits here in the corner covered by one trade union and at the same time you know what's imp quite important for me is that they're not in the middle hindering a nice layout like this one they're in the corner not making me lose any space and then the last element, the new productions. The building that used to be in the new world that now you can put in the old world. Coffee, rum, and cotton. I've just built them there to show you. These are the three buildings. First one, advanced coffee roaster, which only need malt. So your grain transform into malt, then producing coffee does require electricity and here second the rum distillery knowing potatoes and coal pretty neat and lastly cotton is wood and your your wool and your wood again all these three buildings does do require electricity Let's talk about the research points. I said before, you can see them here at the top. You can see I get a balance. I get, I have, a, as you can see, there's two elements. One is I currently have 171,000 out of 251,000. So this is sort of my stock that I can use to do things. And then on top of it, I have the balance balance from elder and balance from scholar. This is how quickly those points are going to come back. As you can see, most of them are coming from scholars, but it is possible to get a few from elders based on, so elders are in Endesa, and this is based on um, the storyline that I said earlier. Regarding the stock, you can see to right now it is limited at 251,000. This is linked to how many scholars you have, as you can see just below. A limit, next limit increase. If I reach uh, 25,500 scholars, then my limit will increase by one more thousand points. I'll post a link below in the description. To the wiki where you can see some of the detail mass of how quickly those points increase how to get 
uh, higher balance, etc., etc. But here, I think the important element is to realize you need scholars to get one a higher limit and second to recharge your points quicker. So now let's take a quick look at these scholars. Here you can see there's houses, happy scholars. They have needs and happiness like your normal um, residences. But you may realize that most of these are quite new. If you're not familiar with the, this latest DLC, you wouldn't know what these are. Boots, this is tea, this is your tapestries, clay pipes. And even on the needs, you see new elements. Tailored suits, your seafood stew, telephones, and a new need building, which is the radio tower. Most of these are either produced directly in Mbesa or will require resources from Mbesa. So as you can see this one, the Sifu is imported from Mbesa, which is this one, the tailor made, is produced in the old world but actually requires elements from the from Mbesa. Another important element about the scholars is the houses, let me show you in the city, this is a, here, the houses are actually 4x4 four four instead of 3x3 three three for your normal residences. So you won't be able to fit as many. Um, so if I remember correctly, the maximum for residences in one town hall is 128 while for the scholars I got to something like 83 if I remember correctly and please if you have a question about that just drop me a comment below and I'll answer our next point why do you need engineers so on this island I don't have any engineers but as you can see I have linked this island with my commuter pier to my capital here, which actually has a lot of engineers. Uh, the commuter pier being here. And why is that important? Well, let's take a look. Well, let's take a look. Click here on the building. I have currently an item in production, if you remember, and it says 10,000 engineers used. Why? Because engineers will enable you to produce items or a major discovery in time a lot quicker. Let's see here. I can actually adjust how many to use, and you'll see the time is going to change drastically. So here, if I use only 1,000, for example, which for a legendary item is actually the minimum, you can't do it without less. So it's also why engineers are important. It will take almost an hour. Versus with my 10,000, it's now taking less than six minutes. Again, in the link below, you can find some of the math. Um, but simply remember that if you only use the minimum, so here the minimum is 1, it takes 30 minutes, it's 1,000, one hour and a half. Similarly, for the mystery of nature, 1,000, one hour and a half. That's where if you use the minimum. And then the maximum is always 10,000. You can't go higher than this. And with 10,000, every single element will always be 10 minutes. So from one hour and a half to 10 minutes, that's quite a big jump. Last point before the bonuses is what are the limitations? What are the limits of this research institute? Well, the first element is um, item development. 
you actually can't develop all items. A few, like Fernando de Caro, which reduces your coffee consumption for investor, can't be uh, developed. The second is that for items, the cost actually keeps on increasing, always and always. And by cost, I mean the research one cost. So if you look at one um, legendary item that I've never developed, it says 20,000 here. This one, Angela, that I've developed, let's say, two or three times, I don't remember, is now already at 40,000. And this will not stop going up. Uh, every time you use it, it will go up, go up, go up, requiring you to have more and more scholars if you want to do it. On the other side, something amazing is that for the major discoveries, it does not. Yes, it will increase every time you use it. So for example, use this one a couple of times, it's now at 100,000. I've used this one a lot of times, it's at 250,000. But the element is that it will never go above 250,000, which is why in my current save, I've stopped at 251, because I can do as many of the uh, mysteries of nature's and revolutionary context and production methodology as I want. I just need time for the research point to fill again. But that's sort of the only limitation here. And one thing that's not really a limitation but very important to uh, notice is when I do this item development of Angular or when I do a major discovery, for example, to move an oil spring, it's only for one. It's I'm getting one Angular or I'm getting to move one oil spring. So if you want to move multiple or if you need multiple Angular, you'll need to do it several times. Before, I promised you a few bonuses. Let's start with those two. Did you know that every time you develop an item, whatever it is, you have a 5% chance of discovering on top of the item a major discovery. And this also will not increase the cost of that major discovery. So that's fairly interesting. And then the second bonus is the scholar houses, yes, they are bigger, 4x4 four four instead of 3x3. Three three. But look at how many people do they hold. This one, 180, thanks to a few um, items in the town halls. 180 versus, obviously, depends which items you put but if we look here at my typical investor house only 50 so if you're trying to get as much population as possible do what we call a population run you may want to try to optimize your scholar population which will be again limited by what you can produce in Endesa but that's a fairly interesting element and to be honest, I'm thinking of doing a video on that point um, in the near future. And that is it for the, the video of today on the Research Institute. If you feel I missed anything on the Research Institute, or if you still have questions, please do share in comments below. Um, and if, if you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to never miss another one. Thank you. And see you next time.